Hello, my Scorpio friends. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. So if you're interested in having a reading, I do have 10 spots I just opened up over on Wizio. So W-I-S-I-O dot com. And uh, that is if you are outside of Canada. If you are within Canada, please just email me. I shall email you a price list and uh, we will carry on from there. I'll book you an email. All right. So here we go. And we are here to read for Sun Rising. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, my sweet Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. Scorpio for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Scorpio. What's the most important thing Scorpio needs to know for the week ahead, please? Most important thing to know for the week ahead. All right. What have we got here? All right, Scorpio, I feel like there's some sort of a partnership that could be reuniting this uh, in this week ahead. I feel like we've got two threes. First of all, you can look that up, two threes in a, um, in a tarot card reading. Um, I feel like this is going to be um, a reunion that is good. I feel it'll be balanced. I feel that it will turn out well. I feel that everyone's going to get along emotionally. Some people showing up will be grounded. Some people will be emotional. I feel like you, um, y'all are getting together to, um, to just celebrate that you can be together, I think, because of, you know, everything that's going on with the pandemic. I feel like in some countries, people haven't seen each other in quite some time. I feel like there is a partnership that needs to reunite here, though. And this partnership, I feel, is balanced. It's, um, I feel like it's very grounded. We've got Virgo, uh, Taurus, and Capricorn here. We've got, uh, Sag sorry, we've got Scorpio. Pisces and Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the four fixed signs, which are Taurus, Scorpio, Ari, no, nope, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and um, uh, Aquarius. So I feel like there is something that will be coming to an end here in the future. And I think what it is, is feeling like you're unbalanced Scorpio. So if you've been feeling sort of out of sorts now, the thing is this, is that everything that's going on planetarily, if you haven't investigated all of that, that is all taking part in all of this. And it has been for quite some time, probably since back when we got those two, um, those two moons, I think, in May. Um, no, the uh, lunar and solar eclipse back to back. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So since then, things planetarily have been pretty hard on you, Scorpio. And I think it's designed to get the um, the fixed signs out of their ruts to shake them free out of their ruts. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of a partnership that is going to reunite here. Um, it's been unstable, this connection, for a long time and uh, for at least a couple of years. And I feel that um, with the world card here that... Uh, something is going to come to an end. So I think this instability is what's coming to an end. Now, pentacles in the... Um Pentacles in the tarot are years, so that's why I'm thinking it's about two years since you've seen this person since the last time you've uh, laid eyes on them or had any, you know, emotional conversations. I feel like you two used to be on the same team or you used to hang out together or used to see each other on maybe a weekly or a daily basis, and now that will no longer happens. Things have changed for everybody, right? Somebody is... Um, is waiting. Somebody is waiting for for a new start here. I feel like um, I feel like somebody's been waiting for a while. We have three wands here, and we have this wand here that is almost burnt down, like right down. I feel like um, this person has not made a choice yet, though, that they have come to the edge. You know, they've come to the water's edge here. They're waiting for a wave waiting to catch the wave so they can go somewhere i think they want to just expand their life they want to have adventure they want to take action um but i feel like right now what's going on is that there is waiting yeah right now there is a wait um something i'm gonna say it's something universal that's what i feel like there is some sort of a holding pattern that's going on right now i feel like somebody's in the waiting room somebody's in the waiting room it could be you 
Scorpio definitely could be. Um, but I feel with the Six of Wands in reverse, I feel like you don't like to be in the spotlight here. And so you're kind of nervous about this reunion here. This could be more than two people, right? And I feel like you get nervous whenever there's eyes on you. You don't really like big groups of people. That could be because you are so um, sensitive when it comes to vibration and other people's vibration, Scorpio. Um, you are highly intuitive. And I feel like you just don't like to be in big groups of people where they have their eyes on you. You don't like to make decisions in big groups either. You'd rather make them personally. I think one of the decisions that you're making here is to move ahead um, with something that used to be unstable. I think that the reason you haven't moved um, forward uh, quicker than this is because um, I think that things have been unstable uh, in your life. And um, I think that it's time to close a chapter. I feel like you have learned a lot of lessons in whatever this situation is, whatever part of this life you're in. Um, I feel like you've, you've um, learned a lot of things. You've um, <laughs> fixed a lot of karmic things. I feel like you've come clean with a lot of people. I feel like that world card for you means more than just, you know, okay, well, this chapter of my life is over. I'll carry on. I think it means, I think it means for you more than that. It's, it's deeper than that for you. Yeah. I think you're just really fighting to get stability and you just need to be with the people who uh, emotionally support you. I don't think you've had that for a while here, Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you um, want to, to carry on in life here. Um, I feel like you you are looking to maybe look for a soulmate. Maybe going forward, you think that maybe you have a soulmate waiting for you. I feel like the universe is saying that there is a soulmate waiting for you. For some reason, the soulmate you're keeping quiet. You're not keeping the soulmate quiet. Sorry, I keep saying that. That's terrible English. <laughs> what What's going on is the... Um, I think that the fact that you have feelings for someone here is what you're keeping quiet and that you want to have a new start. I think this is kind of all close to the chest here. The Six of Wands is in reverse. And um, although there's no victory right now, it is a time for waiting before taking this new step ahead here. I feel like there is a cycle that is ending between you and uh, some sort of a lover here. This is the card of Gemini. So let's get one more card out here. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, I see ya. All right, so we've got uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got all the world, the fixed signs. As I said, we do have um, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. We have Aries here. We have Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Gemini, um, we have uh, Gemini and uh, Aquarius. Gemini, Aquarius, G Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. So I think what's happening here is that you are keeping under wraps, that you are having a new start with someone who could be one of these fixed signs or Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You are keeping this under wraps. You don't want anybody to know that you want to have a new start with this person, but you feel like this is a good idea because this person that you want to have a new start with is very much like you. And uh, this person also wants to um, go out into the world and expand life with you, I think. Um, the uh, the lovers here tells me that this is something that you're, um, that I feel like wants to be moved upon here. And uh, Scorpio, I think this is this is your side here. So this partnership, you've been waiting for a while to go to see the soulmate or to be with the soulmate because you know that they are your ten of pentacles. And um, then we have someone who is closing a chapter to start brand new, closing a cycle, an old cycle with um, this uh, soulmate and moving into a new cycle of the Ten of Pentacles where families are coming together and meshing and maybe it's yours, mine and ours. And, you know, I feel like there's going to be a couple people coming together with children, um, children that uh, are already in a family. Yeah, that um, used to be in a whole family. Yeah mom and dad and sisters, brothers, all of that. But I feel like there has been something that's, that something is broken here. Something is broken up. Let me just one moment here. Scorpio. Let's see, what is coming to the end for 
Scorpio here. What is coming to the end? Or your person. Um, this side is your person, this side is you, right? So your person, um, the world here. What's coming to an end, please? Oh, so what's coming to an end is this chapter because the Wheel of Fortune is about to move in your favor and it will bring you fortunate things. So I feel like there had to be a chapter closed before the divine timing was available um, to your person here. Your person, I feel like, was uh, is out in the cold and they're not sure why. <laughs> they're not sure why this person has really done all the good things for you. They have... They have um, made you happy, been kind to you. This person was strong for you when you couldn't be. I feel like this person gave you good advice. And um, this person is quite passionate about life. And I think that's why you ended up listening to them. Um, I think that this person is closing a chapter. So uh, hopefully that you will bring them out of the cold. So we do have the Emperor here and the Queen of Cups. I feel like this person has um, aggressively given everything away. Yeah, I feel like this person is, their habit in a relationship is to give away too much, is to take, a, uh, to take charge and give away everything. And I feel like um, this person who does have feelings for you is someone who is uh, keeping secrets about their own balance. They could be watching you online, um, but I feel as though they have a feeling that you might have gone through a divorce and that you may want a second chance to see them. Interesting. Let's look at the Fool, please. Let's look at the Fool. We've got Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Hierophant. So I feel like this could be a, a start in a job. So when I look at the Fool now and I look at the um, uh, the World card here, I feel like there could be um, the chapter of a job closing and a new job opening. You may be getting a new, a new position. You may have been promoted. Um, you may be the leader of something. Maybe you're the project manager of something, but I feel like it's work related and they, they've given it to you, Scorpio, because you are the most competent. You're the one that's best with your words. You're the most diplomatic. You're the person who can get your point across in a kind way without making others feel guilty for what they're doing or, or upset about, you know, not being able to contribute enough if they're not. I feel like with the Hierophant that you are relying on your gut in order to see this project through. And, you know, when I look at project work here, I look at this team over here, right? So tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Communication about something that ended and that there, that uh, this person, you, Scorpio, wants to have a, um, a new... A new partnership of some sort so there, there's going to be uh, communication or for some of you there was communication in the past about an ending and that somebody wanted to start brand new with you yeah there was an ending in in your your relationship Scorpio one that you're never going back to and I feel like with the six of cups this is someone that you knew for a very long time um, this person was highly toxic though and although you did have passion for them um, I feel like you you did have passion for this person. They weren't the kind of person who was right here by your side wanting to have adventure and expand their life, right? So we have you wanting to start again and um, not really telling anybody. Four of Pentacles, keeping it under your hat. You're not telling anybody right here either. Six of Wands in reverse. And um, why are you keeping this soul mate secret? Yeah, dece deception. Um, because you have hope of starting on a new path with this person. Okay. So I feel like you, Scorpio, are thinking about having a new start with someone who um, is your hopes, wishes, and dreams, or you have hope to start new with this person. I feel like the deception is they think that it's over. They think that this is done and you don't want it anymore, but I guess that's the deception. And I feel like you have something to say to this person that um, about this path and passion, because this guy is looking back here. I feel like um, uh, you are single and that's what you're going to tell this person. Um, 
tell me about the Six of Swords in reverse. Why are we keeping this quiet? Ah, yes, because this person you feel is your twin flame. You may have missed an opportunity with them, but you're willing to fight for this relationship and you want to have victory in starting brand new. You're hoping that this person is going to take your pledge of love, but you are unsure at this time. You've been manifesting this connection for quite some time. And that is all I have for you, Scorpio. I'm going to go for now. Thank you very much for watching here. Thank you for um, for exchanging energy with me by either giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment in the um, in the comments below. Believe it or not, when I get to know you in the comments, you get in my energy. And sometimes these general readings can be quite familiar when we get in each other's energy. I'm going to go for now. Thank you guys so much. Love you, Scorpio. You know that I do. Bye-bye.